transforms on partial differential equation mm -hmm. ma8353 regulation 2017 unit 3 applications of partial differential equations uh, first we have concentrate two more questions okay these are all very very important two more questions sum number 1 Clarif classify the pd 3uxx plus 4uxy plus 6uyy minus 2ux plus uy minus u equal to 0. So the given equation is 3 into uxx can be taken as dou square u by dou x square plus 4 is there plus 4 into uxy can be taken as dou square u by dou x dou y 6 into uyy can be taken as dou square u by dou y square minus 2ux plus uy uy means dou u by dou y minus u equal to 0 this is equation number 1 and this can be compared with the general equation of the PDE is a into dou square u by dou x square plus b into dou, u, dou square u by dou x dou y plus c into dou square u by dou y square plus d into dou u by dou x plus e into dou u by dou y plus f u equal to g equation number 2 Comparing equations 1 and 2, uh, comparing these two results, a equal to 3. So, dou square by dou x square, in the name of the name, dou square by dou x square, so a equal to 3. Next one, b equal to 4. Next one, comparing these two, c equal to 6. So, a equal to 3, b equal to 4, c equal to 6. Straight away applying the discriminant formula, b square minus 4ac, so 4 square minus 4, a value is 3, c value is 6, so 16 minus 72 equal to minus 56, uh, which is less than 0. So the discriminant b square minus 4ac is less than 0 means uh, this uh, PD is elliptic, hence the problem. Again, let us move to second sum. Classify the PDE x plus 1 z x x plus root 2 into x plus y plus 1 z x y plus y plus 1 z y y plus y z x minus x z y plus 2 sin x equal to 0. So, this is the statement of the uh, problem. So, the solution of the problem is the given equation is x plus 1 z x x plus root 2 into x plus y plus 1 z x y plus y plus 1 z y y plus y z x minus x z y plus 2 sin x equal to 0. Uh, this can be reformulated as x plus 1 into z x x can be taken as dou square z by dou x square root 2 into x plus y plus 1 into zxy can be taken as dou square z by dou x dou y again y plus 1 into dou square z by dou y square plus y into zx so y into zx means dou z by dou x minus x into zy so minus x into zy means dou z by dou y plus 2 sin x equal to 0 this is equation number 1 this can be compared with the general equation of the pd is a into dou square by dou x square plus b into dou square by dou x dou y plus c into dou square u by dou y square plus d into dou u by dou x plus e into dou u by dou y plus f u equal to g. Uh, this is equation number 2. Comparing the equations 1 and 2, comparing these two results, so a equal to x plus 1, comparing these two, b equal to root 2 into x plus y plus 1, comparing these two results, so c equal to y plus 1. So, a equal to x plus 1, b equal to root 2 into x plus y plus 1, c equal to y plus 1. This can be straight away applying the discriminant formula, b square minus 4ac. So, b value is root 2 into x plus y plus 1 whole square, b square minus 4, a value x plus 1, c value y plus 1. So, root 2 square, root 2 whole square means root 2 into x plus y plus 1 whole square minus 4 into multiplying these two terms xy again plus x plus y 
plus 1. 2 into a plus b plus c whole square formula. So, the a plus b plus c whole square formula is, um, the formula can be written as, uh, if you write the formula is a square plus b square plus c square uh, plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So, this is the formula for the expansion of this problem. We have removed this formula. So, in the, in the a place, uh, we have to take a, a, a place x, b place y, c place 1. So, formula, applying the formula, a square is x square, b square is y square, c square is 1, 2xy, 2xy means, uh, 2ab means 2xy, and uh, 2bc means 2 into y into 1 is 2y, and 2ca means 2x, minus 4 into xy plus x plus y plus 1. So, next step. Multiplying by 2, 2x square, 2y square, plus 2, again 4xy, plus 4y, plus 4x, I multiply these two terms, minus 4xy, minus 4x, minus 4y, minus 1, minus 4, sorry. So, finally, 2x square, plus 2y square, uh, 2 minus 4 is minus 2, remaining terms are cancelled, 4xy, minus 4xy cancel, My, plus 4y, minus 4y cancel plus 4x minus 4x cancel. So, the 2x square plus 2y square minus 2. 2 is taken as a common. x square plus y square minus 1. Then, b square minus 4ac equal to 2 into x square plus y square minus 1. So, the discriminant formula is b square minus 4ac equal to, suppose we have to take b square minus 4ac equal to 0 means 2 into x square plus y square minus 1 equal to 0, 2 is not equal to 0. So, x square plus y square minus 1 equal to 0 means 1 can be taken as right hand side, x square plus y square equal to 1. Similarly, um, b square minus 4ac which is less than 0. Uh, this is the condition of elliptic. Okay, first one is condition of parabolic, uh, second one is condition of elliptic. So, 2 into x square plus y square minus 1 less than 0, 2 is not equal to 0 x square plus y square minus 1 is less than 0. 1 can be taken as right hand side. x square plus y square is less than 1. Next one is, take the definition of a hyperbolic form. So, b square minus 4ac which is greater than 0. So, 2 into x square plus y square minus 1 which is greater than 0. 2 is not equal to 0. So, x square plus y square minus 1 which is greater than 0. x square plus y square is greater than 1. Hence the problem. Next problem, sum number 3. Find the steady state temperature distribution in a rod of length 10 cm whose end x equal to 0 and x equal to 10 are kept at 20 degree centigrade and 50 degree centigrade respectively. So, first we have to consider the one rod, one, one end is uh, A, another end is B. So, the length of the rod is 10 cm. So, uh, one end is x equal to 0, another end is uh, x equal to 10, totally 10 cm. So, the uh, steady state temperature distribution, find the steady state temperature distribution. So, we have to take the two temperature values, one is 20 degree centigrade, another one is 50 degree centigrade. So, this is the lower degree centigrade, this is the higher degree centigrade. So, lower degree is A, higher degree is B. Straight away applying the steady state formula for heat equation formula, Ux equal to B minus A by L x plus a. This is the formula. So, ux equal to and the upper temperature is 50 minus lower temperature is 20 by uh, length of the rod is 10 x plus uh, this one is um, a. So, a value is uh, lower temperature 20. 50 minus 20 is 30 by 10 x plus 20. 10, 0, 0 cancel. Final answer is ux equal to 3x plus 20 hence the problem.